So me and Ricky, we walk up to the guy and we're like, yo, what's the joke? We're a little bit skeptical, a little bit eerie because um, the whole situation was just a little bit odd. Yes, yes, yes. Out of the blue. So we're like, yo, what's the joke? And this man, out of nowhere, out of nowhere, he pulls out, he pulls out a man is always on his phone trying to look care about how he looks so we just have to put him on the spot just yeah. like that <laughs> yo guys welcome back to the podcast we are on episode number 10 we officially hit double digits let's up go. In here. Every, let's get a round of applause for ourselves for ourselves boys let's go let's you know, go baby we're let's always, ride. we're always uh, giving round of applause to the guests but today we're the guests because it's a boys because only if boys. i was doing this for you then i would have nothing left to prove nah this Ooh, for me though, though. And guys, if you're looking, if you're watching on YouTube, then take a look around. This is a new setup we've never been in, and we're actually in a completely different state right now. We finished our stay in Arizona, and we are right, right here, right here, right check there. It. Check it, check it. What does it say? What does it say? It says we are in LA. Well, Lo- it doesn't say we're in. It says LA, Los Angeles. We are. We're back after we moved out with the whole rat scandal situation. I don't even know what to call it. We, this is our first time back since that happened, and I'm not going to lie, it feels a little bit weird being here. This is your first time this being here. This is my here. first time here. I'm but excited. But Los Angeles, boys. Me and Ricky, this is our first time back since the whole rat situation, and we moved out. And it, it feels a little bit weird when we were driving around. I would get flashbacks. I'm not going to lie. I saw a little black speck on my toilet seat last night. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yo, it looks a little bit like rat poop. Yeah, but then you realize that you just pooped all over the rim and it splashed up. <laughs> That's not true, bro. It was a little bit of fuzz for my shirt. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or at least that's what I'm telling myself. I don't know why that fuzz is stank. No, I'm playing. I didn't poop on the seat, bro. I don't do that. It's okay. I, don't know. I know you do, Ricky. I don't know. Something you said in the car, though, is you, um, you don't really... Uh Wash your butt in the shower. Oh! <laughs> whoa, 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 That's something I want to talk Bro, about today. Everybody, Wait, no, you, you got to restart. You got to tell the story from the beginning because people are just going to think I'm like an unsanitary, dirty dude. That's not the case. Yeah. Okay, how does it start? I, I was just in the car randomly and I said, yo. Well, we were driving. We were driving from Arizona to LA and we were all like sweaty and dirty. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> We've yeah, been yeah. hiking all day in the mountains. Yeah, and then I said, yo, for some reason I thought about this and I said, when you're in the shower, do you like soap, rinse like here and here? And I said aggressively like this because that's what I do to clean it. And then Ricky said, yeah, but I don't go like this. And then Nick said, I kind of just let the water like <laughs> flow through. <laughs> just <laughs> let the water. Bro, you, have you ever heard of a bidet? Yeah, but none of these Airbnbs have that. They don't have a bidet. <laughs> But like the shower head, if it's got the right pressure. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yo. so you turn around and you uh, put your head down and you let the shower head up. I never said I put my head down, but like. I want to know what the people do. I want to know. What I do. let the water hit it. And apparently using a bidet is way cleaner than wiping. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, but none of the Airbnbs have had a bidet. So Yeah, but the shower head, it's hella pressurized. It's pretty much a bidet, bro. Wait, what I'm confused about is that most of these shower heads that we're at, they're not the removable ones. <laughs> they're the ones stuck high, eight feet on the wall. So are you <laughs> telling me you stand <laughs> up? This man does a... <laughs> no, yo, 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 this man does a handstand. Puts his feet by the... <laughs> Puts his two feet by the shower head and lets it go. Yo, no, for real. All the Airbnbs, they're eight feet tall. They're like way up here. Bro, all, all I got to say is, bro, it's clean down there. I don't know why you guys are acting so sus. You guys, act, like, bro. Well, I, I mean, there's just sometimes, you know. Yeah, bro. It's just weird. Like, you know. It's I, not, bro. Like, you it's gotta, okay. We can move on. I yeah. know this is sensitive. Well, I don't just shove my hand in there and, like, do this to my. Well, I don't do that. I just go. And it feels clean because it's water. Yeah. Like so, Ricky. Right? Ricky's is a. S- 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 I'm like a. Ch- 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 and then you're just like a oh, water. No, I'm more like a. S- okay. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Come on. All right. We get the point. But yeah, guys. I mean. Well, can I have a question about that? <laughs> not 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 about the like. Do you clean it when you shower? And by it, guys, we're talking about like your cheeks. Yeah, right? everyone knows. What else? Are well, you well gonna- I don't know. If well, they- everybody cleans their cheeks, so they know. Unlike well- you. <laughs> All I got to say is it don't smell down there, but, but bro, no, cause some people they're listening on Spotify. If you're listening on Spotify, 
Thank you for listening on Spotify. Right, I don't know right. why I looked at the camera when I said that because you're listening on Spotify. <laughs> but for the YouTube viewers, shout out to y'all. But uh, I have a question about that. Mm. How do you wipe? Do you wipe from back to front or is front this- to back? This is a serious question, bro. Like this. I do this. Front to back. Okay. No one does this? Well, I don't know. <laughs> Wait, dude. <laughs> what are you just yeah, saying? There, there's some people that do, bro. No, no. You the, no, you... Every time when we ask Ricky, he says front to back. So what did you say? You don't do like what? This, like, no one goes... <laughs> He's the, this is Ricky. He thinks when you when you're asking front to back, you're going like this, wiping like this. But in reality, we're asking if you wipe oh, like this. No Ooh. one stubs. <laughs> no one does that, bro. It's always front to back. Yeah, right, that, yeah. That's enough. That's enough. Right, on this well, topic. I don't even know. That's self-explanatory. You don't even wipe either way. So, <laughs> right, you guys are. All right, acting, come on, come on. Let's go. Let's go. You guys are acting like I'm a dirty animal, but that's not the case. But you we, always do say you're a dirty dog. <laughs> All right, come on, bro. But yeah, yeah, right, no, right. you gotta wipe from from the back, or or do a little. Um, you gotta lift the cheek, you know. All right, this all is right, getting right, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is getting a little bit weird. Um, what I wanted to say before we, I don't even know how we started talking about any of that, but we are in LA now. But where we were, we were in Arizona, and I we've been in Arizona before, me and Ricky, but never for an extended period of time. But how, how did you guys like Arizona? I liked well, Arizona compared yeah. to Texas. Dude, Arizona was like a younger version of Texas. That's how I felt. Like a little more yeah. upbeat, a little more, but not too fast. There wasn't like a big city, at least where we were staying. I liked it more than Texas for sure. Texas, it felt really Texasy, like really wide open. It was a little slower, like just life felt a little slow. It was more like cowboys. I feel like we went from Texas, which was slow, Arizona, which was like medium paced, and then LA so far, it really felt fast. like this, <laughs> like so fast. We've only been here like a day though. I know, and it's felt faster than the whole three months. But in Arizona, you know, we're there for about a month, and you know, I um, I was trying to meet some people and hang out with them. <laughs> yeah, just say what you're doing. You're trying <clears throat> to hang out with a girl. Yeah, I was, I was trying to, I was trying to like hang out with a girl, mm-hmm. maybe you know, various ones because. You just gotta test the waters in these situations. You can't put all your eggs in one basket. Well, I mean, exactly. y- you're a dirty dog, and re- we're on the road, you know. Yeah, we're on the road. It's like these people that we're meeting, and people by people, I mean girls. Okay, well, not you guys because you guys have girlfriends, but me. You know, I was out. I was exploring, testing the waters, dipping my toe in. Yeah. And, bro, what is it with people flagging? Mm. Ooh, lots. Like, I set up, I, I had plans to hang out with a couple of different people. I mean, I, I still hung out with some people, but, like. This man had dates lined up. Yeah. Wait, I mean, I had to be efficient in time because we were only there for a short period of time. So you're scheduled in. You're like, all right, Tiffany, Tuesday, 8 p.m., 10 p.m. Then we're going to go with Savannah on Thursday. These are hypothetical names. How, that was actually your name. All in the what? Google calendars, you know. How did you know her name? I don't, I literally guessed, I mean. Well, what? He guessed the name? Yeah, I'm not going to say which one. But yeah, guys. I, and then the other Savannah on Saturday. But I was planning to hang out with some people in Arizona. Some people like I knew from the past. Some people, you know, I just, I just met and started talking to. And it, I, it's a strange thing, bro. People, they, they'll say they're down to hang out. But then when the time comes to actually hang out, Boom, just flag. Sometimes not even respond. And disrespect. It's just disrespectful. Because I'm the type of person, if you ask me something, or you ask me to hang out on like a certain day, Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say yes if I don't actually plan on hanging out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel like a lot of people's initial response is just go, yeah, like, yeah, I will. I'm free. Just because they want to say yeah to a bunch of stuff, and they want to leave their options open, but when it comes down to it, they're like, ah, see how I feel. That's it. They want to leave their options open. So they probably said yes to... Somebody else. Somebody else. I mean, I I agree with you, but I was also that person that did that before. So I I think we've all been there. I understand, like, where their mindset was. part of the problem. The flagging... But at the same time, it's like, think about it, because you are a random person that they don't know, and then maybe, like, one of their good friends is like, yo, do you want to do this tonight? And they're like... Oh, let me weigh out like what's, they, like prioritize what's and, what's better, and they're like, ah, oh, I'd rather do this. Yeah, than make, it depends. Make Ireland, it depends you know? how like formal the agreement was, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was. Like, if you're like, hey, you maybe want to chill on Thursday, and then it's like, oh yeah, probably I might be down. If you say maybe, it's probably no. No, but there was a couple times when we were in Arizona, and 
like I made plans to go to this. I'm just gonna say what the plans were. It was to go to this. Um, I'm hearing this for the first time. So. The, it was Monument Valley. Pop a picture of it. It's it's hella scenic. It was hella pretty, and it's like a couple hours away from where we're staying. But then I ask this female, and then I'm like, "Yo, you you're down to go to this place?" And she's like, "Yeah, it's a road trip though." And I was like, "Oh, it's no problem. I'll drive. It's okay. I'll, I'll whip us in the minivan, you know." Mm. <laughs> and then she says, "All right, I'm down. Let's go." And I was like, "All right, what day should we go? Let's go Saturday." And then she said, "Perfect. Sounds like a plan." And then I, I don't want to bother them, and then ask them, "Yo, are we we still on for Saturday?" I'm not trying to text them that on Friday. They just, they say yes. I'm assuming that they're down for the journey, yeah. the ride to yeah. go. Yeah, especially it's, with it's a big plan. Like I don't know, that. bro. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know how you're meeting these people, but I mean, if it's on an app or something, it's just like you know, you just can't. You can't. You just can't. It's the way the world. It, you know? It's the way the cookie crumbles. Yeah, yeah it is. It's the part way. of it. It's like it's something that you like hate to see, but it's like it's just part of the culture. I feel like I, it's part of the culture. But I'm saying you'd rather have someone just say no. I don't want to hang out. That that's exactly what yeah. I'm trying to say. I'd rather have someone. Just say a hard no, then a half yes. Yeah. A half yes, just say no. I think people don't, You're wasting people don't time. want to hurt my people, time. People don't want to hurt people's feelings, but they don't understand that in the long run, it would actually just save time, just mm -hmm. be way more efficient, but people don't want to say no. Yeah. That's people are afraid is. to say no. They don't want to say no. But they think they'll hurt your feelings, where in reality, they might, you actually might get hurt. Like if one of the girls was like, nah, I don't want to hang out with you, you might be like, oh, no. So, but then you'd be like, <laughs> then you'd realize well, I just like. ask someone else though. <laughs> Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, because you got them lined up. I forgot. No, so. not like that. It's not like that. It's not like that. Not Arizona? I can't imagine in Arizona. Yo, yo, yo. Let's, let's, um, let's go around. Let's, everybody's favorite story in Arizona. Everyone's Ooh. favorite story? Yeah. Okay. I'll start off. Okay, okay. Start off. Um, my favorite story, <clears throat> probably when we all went out that one night, and then we um, kind of went out, you know, did our own thing. On the town, and we went out. Yeah, we went, went. We went into town, and then uh, Joe Burrow was in the place that we were at. Oh, Joe I, Burrow! I Joe, that was dope. That was the losing dope. quarterback of the Super Bowl, but legend. legend. But, like he made it to the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah. Like he was a legend. I don't. I was trying to give him props, kind of, but I said it in a weird way. I, I don't know. If, <laughs> I don't know if you can relate to that story, Ricky. Though, because I've never been to the Super Bowl. No, no, no. <laughs> No, no, I, you can't even relate. You you never saw him that night. Because oh, yeah, I didn't. Yeah, you went home a little bit you early. You went home a little bit early. And you know what? That actually ties perfectly back into your story. I did go home a little bit early that night. I was out. You know, I said I'd go out the boys. I enjoyed a couple hours. And then, you know what? I realized I was like, I'd rather just go back home and go to bed. So I said, when we were all about to walk into, uh, what was it? One of the... Some one like of the club or something. I yeah, it's one of the clubs or something. I was like, no, I'm going home. And I said, no. Mm -hmm. Smart move, smart move, because there was a seventy dollars Uber on the way back. <laughs> that is true. That is true, and I had to bite the bullet on that one. So sometimes you, you got to say no. I, and I, it's you, crazy that you got mad at me for saying what you just like people to do. No, no, you 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 decided to you. But the problem was was when me, Ricky, Yellow Snow behind the camera, and you, we all decided to go out that night. Mm -hmm. It was all agreed upon. Before we went out, yeah, that we were going out that night, yeah. yeah, and we actually did go out. We went to the Suns basketball game. We hung out. We walked around for a while, and just like Joe Burrow, I had to make a game time decision. I had to say, "Hmm, maybe I'm gonna go down and get sacked right now instead of throwing the big hell mary, maybe interception." So you wanted to lose the Super Bowl? It's okay, bro. It's okay, you know. Yeah. I, 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 I think it was a game time decision. But I did, I did go out for a little bit. It would be like a girl going out with you and then realizing, man, Nick Ireland, not that cool. I'm going to go home. <laughs> I'm just kidding, bro. I'm joking. You know, no, I, no, you're no. a cool guy. Literally, I would. Well, whoa, whoa, whoa. Chill, 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 chill. Has that ever happened to you, Nick? What? A girl, you like hung out with a girl and she's like, yeah, I'm not really messing with you. I'm going to get out of here. Or was it the other way around? It's kind of the, the other way around. Like ever since my last relationship, I'll be hanging out with, I'll, like if I hang out with a girl, I'll be hanging out with them, and then sometimes I just be thinking in my head, like, well, say, say, say you're like you're like a girl I'm hanging out with, like mm -hmm. we're like hanging out, we're chit chatting, whatever, mm -hmm. and I'm just sitting here, and then I'll go in my own head and I'll start thinking, I'll be like, Bruh, why am I here? <laughs> why am I here? What am I doing? This person is annoying, like straight up. A lot of a lot of 
people are annoying, bro. Dude, do yeah. you have some stories? I have a funny <laughs> story, bro. But I want to hear if you have any because you've been in. You're in the game. I was. I'm retired. Well, you know? I I don't know. I was hanging out like with, Tom Brady. Now, I was hanging out with this girl the other night. BG dropped me off, and then we were hanging out, and then, and then you know. <laughs> <laughs> After after we after we hung out after we hung out, <laughs> I BG he he picked me up, mm-hmm. and yeah. then shout out BG, shout out to BG for picking me up. It was like three a.m. and I was like, "Yo, BG, get me out of here. I need a ride." <laughs> oh, I don't even know. I didn't even hear this. Well, because you were asleep. Yeah. Oh, okay. But BG came right. to <laughs> Glad the, I didn't have to deal with that. BG came right to the rescue, and I kind of told him what happened. But um, after uh, we I hung out with that girl. I just kind of thought to myself, I was like, damn, bro, it's, it's like once you, once you achieve something, not achieve something, that sounds weird. Whoa. Talking like, about this, like a video game. You're saying like once you, um. Like once you're actually, like. There, I, once I, you're actually there, it's all the hype. <clears throat> yeah. It's all the lead up. That's how it is a lot in life. In my head, mentally, I'm like, yo, me and this girl, we're going to hang out and she's going to be cool. Uh, my expectations, maybe they were too high because, you know, I start hanging out with them and then. Something that like turns me off or gives me like the ick or whatever, it's like, bro, if they talk the way they talk, yeah, is if they're no- like, oh my, you know that voice, oh bro, mm. it's or if they're like, oh my, <laughs> hey, hey, voice hey Nick, <laughs> how are you? Whoa, 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 you know what I mean? It's the voice you. Key. No, but like but a couple episodes. It's like a little pet peeve of something, and then you're just automatically like, ah, everyone's like, everything. They yeah. could say some intellectual, nice stuff. A couple yeah. episodes ago, we were talking about, like, things that I, like, look for in a woman or mm-hmm. a girl or whatever. And I realized after hanging out with a couple, I'm like, bro, the way they talk is one of the biggest things. Because if they have, an, the way they say stuff is annoying, it's just, like, a media L. I don't even want to be around them. It's like, get me yeah. out of that situation, yep. please. Back. BG, come pick me up, bro. And Dude. then uh, BG picked him up. That's exactly what happened. BG Dude. picked me up. There was one time, so I was, this was before I had a girlfriend, and I was, like, DMing this girl. We were texting back and forth, and she was, like, oh, you want to hang out? So I was, like, all right, let's hang out. We were going to meet in this, like, place, and then we were going to drive somewhere, like, go do something. It was a long time ago, so I really forget, the, like, the details. And I was, like, yeah, okay, let's meet up. She was going to get in my car, and we were going to drive. So we end up meeting up. She gets in my car. I'm not even kidding, bro. 30, maybe 45 seconds in the conversation, I was, like, dude, this is I'm not going to spend the whole night with this girl. So she's talking. I'm not even listening to her. I'm just like, how do I get out? How do I get out of this situation? Yo, I, I relate I was just to like, that. I'm just like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's very interesting. And, like, you can say anything. They love to go off. So but, like, you're off. not even yeah. paint. You almost- I had no idea what she said. I couldn't remember a word she said. Exactly. <laughs> like, it was a blur. And I was like, okay, how do I get out? And then, uh, I hate to say it, but I lied. You I said lied. you have something to I do? I was, like, randomly in the middle of the conversation. I'm talking. We were in the car for... She was going off, so I let it go for like 20 minutes, maybe. And I go, oh my gosh, no way. I forgot I have to edit. <laughs> <laughs> what? Like, bro? randomly. I thought and it was going be something, like, urgent, but... Go ahead. No, I think I didn't even care. Go I on. was like, I gotta go. And she was like, how did you not know that you had to edit before? I was like, oh, because it just ha- has I just to. forgot. I forgot. And Things that, happen. And, dude, like, she got out, and I went back home. She just got out right there? Oh, there? not right there. Like, it took a little convincing. I was like... Man, I'm sorry. Like, well, sometime, another time. She's like, Ricky, why are you whipping a U-turn back to my car? We, were, we didn't even get out of the parking lot. We were sitting in the parking lot. Oh, you spent 20 minutes in the parking lot? Well, yeah, you know, and you just vibe sometimes. Mm. But she was vibing. I was plotting. You were plotting how to escape the situation. Yeah. The th- I, I, I relate to that situation, and I've learned from those times because... I, I, but it's hard. I didn't know until I made it into the situation because before I was like, oh, this is going to be dope. This is going to be fun. And then once you're there, you're like, oh. After a couple after a couple times of that happening to me, you, you have to do the FaceTime test. I mean, you guys mm. don't need it. You guys have girlfriends now. But the FaceTime test, such a key. Number one, you figure out if they're a catfish. Because if mm. they don't want to FaceTime, they're a catfish. They don't look like their pictures. It's a straight cap. Call it a catfish. And, and don't even let them know you're FaceTime and just boom, pop it out of nowhere so they're off guard. For real. That's why Nick's always, he's always FaceTiming people. It's oh, crazy. bro, that's cap. That's Scott. cap. Uh, FaceTime's on, FaceTime's on, FaceTime's on. Oh, my gosh. That's, right? That's you know what I'm talking about? Oh, my, I didn't realize that until you know? now. So that means he's always checking to see. If that's not true. That's not true. But what I was trying to say, you got to hit him with the FaceTime call, and then you talk to him for a little bit, but you see if they're annoying while you're on that FaceTime yeah. call. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. You can get a vibe 
you can catch a vibe real quick, like probably within the first minute. But, if they're, but sometimes if they're you might, you, it might be a little awkward phone call, but then it's not in person. Sometimes you, it is. Yeah, but sometimes it is. But some you at can least still, you get the vibe. Yeah, you yeah. can still tell their vibe and if they're gonna annoy you or not. Yeah, yeah, you mm. can most of the time. Which most of the time. Oh, so how did you get in that predicament, or is that something you just learned now? Because you're learning a lot. How did I get in what predicament? The one in Arizona. You didn't Facetime her before, or um, or it didn't work that well, time. <laughs> the Facetime. I I decided to skip a step that day. That's a crucial step. Took a risk. You it, took a risk, huh? I took a risk and big risk. That was gonna be a three hour drive there and back after you guys went. No, no, you're talking about the the girl I dropped you off at. She was like five minutes away from. Yeah, yeah, very close. Low risk. The risk. risk. The low risk. risk, Lower. (laughs) (laughs) I I didn't Facetime because it was like the risk wasn't that high. Mm, Okay, but if if you was long ways away, but like we Snapchatted a little bit, so like I could, I could tell that it wasn't a catfish. But you couldn't catch the vibe. But I couldn't catch the vibe. Because the vibe can be manipulated in Snap. Exactly. Mm. Unless I send any, like, talking videos on Snap, but that's, like, a little But weird. that's when you get to the next level. But, yeah, that was pretty much my experience in uh, Arizona. Other than we went to the Grand Canyon. So that was your... That was dope. Was that So, wait. That was your favorite wait, experience? Yeah, we were talking about favorite experiences. I know, that was, a, like, so. that seemed like a not favorite experience. <laughs> was that your favorite experience in Arizona? <laughs> no, no, that, we went off topic for a little bit. My favorite experience in Arizona was not... Not in Phoenix. Was it? It was when it was when we went to the Grand Canyon. That was Ooh, my first time okay. going to the Grand Canyon. I'm pretty sure it's one of the seven, eight wonders of the world. And when you see it in person, it's just so grand, so big, and it makes you it makes you realize. I don't know. I was just looking at it, and it makes you realize, like, bro, we're all just on this spinning rock. And I was just looking at it, and I was seeing other people look at it and like smile and like take pictures in front of it. And it made my day seeing those people happy and looking at the Grand Canyon. I don't know why, but I was just appreciating where I was. And I was like, wow, life's crazy. I don't even know how I'm here right now looking at the Grand Canyon yeah. on this journey we're on. And that, that was my highlight of the trip. Yeah, that's – wow. That's dope. Yeah, no, I would say my highlight was maybe seeing you guys see it for the first time. Cause, for real? Yeah, I've seen it before. But, dude, just seeing people's reactions, it was so cool. Because when I saw it the first time, I was like, wow, this is incredible. But then seeing, like, other people see it. So, in a way, what, almost what you said. Kind, but, of, kind of what I said. But seeing your guys' is, you know, because it was, like, cool. Arizona was pretty chill, you know, so. It was chill because you went to bed at, like, 10 p.m. every night. Responsible man he is. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Do whatever you want to do. I but, have to. But, you know, don't just... It's kind of like what I was saying earlier. You you made plans with the boys to go out and have a night. And I did. And the then night I out in the town. And then I realized I was getting sacked a lot. So retire early. I, I suppose whatever that's supposed to. Be. I think it makes sense. I know everyone out there gets me. Gets you? What do you mean? What do you mean, bro? What do you mean? You know what I think is funny, bro. You know what I think is funny. What? I think it's funny how when um, we were living in LA. You'd kind of hate on LA, mm. and you'd, yeah, yeah. you'd you'd roast it, and you you would tell you'd come in my room, mm-hmm. and you'd be like, "Bro, I, I don't like you here. I don't like you here." Part yeah, of that yeah. was like the roommate situation, which I think we are gonna get the infamous Jack Doherty on the pod, our ex roommate, our ex roommate, and uh, you guys want to see that? I know you guys want to see that. Yeah, let us know if you guys want to see that. <clears throat> but while we were living with him, you would you come into my room frequently and just. Explain your disdain on LA and how it, it wasn't your vibe, wasn't your taste. I just think it's funny though. Look at you. You look like you're from LA. You're wearing an LA Dodgers cap. I don't know if you've ever watched an LA Dodgers game in your life. Ooh. I actually have. I used to watch baseball all the time. Mm. Like, right, but, but, World Series. But like you just express your disdain on LA, but mm-hmm. then you're like you you're the one repping it the, the, the most out of us. Yeah. For but, me, I, I'm, I'm Miami. I'm repping the hat. Also. Yeah, I'm repping the hat for sure. You're repping it's the a hat. Dope hat. Shirt tucked in vibes. But the, what is it? How does Camo this mean green. LA? You know what I mean? Well, I mean, it's you're, you're wrapping like, the LA hat. I feel good. That what? What? <laughs> what says? How is that LA? No, no, no. Bro, no, I'm the because hat. the hat says no, no, no. LA. No, no. I, I'm, I see the hat. The hat says LA, but nothing else is like. I feel like it's just whatever you want to do. Well, why the LA hat? Just because I thought it was a cool hat. And also, I think I hated the house more than LA. I think LA is a dope place, but I don't like a lot of parts about it. But it's almost like. It's almost like, you know how Jake Paul, when he was walking out to his other fighters, he'd be like, I love 
Tommy Fury or whatever. It's almost like if you rep the enemy, they can't hate on you. Mm. So it's like LA. Or you are you. You are what you eat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in a way, and you're in a way. Not well, I'm here, so like there, I gotta appreciate it while I'm here. Well, but you were repping it in uh, Arizona. Had to prepare to rep it out here. It's like if you're gonna be with a girl for a long time, you might as well enjoy the moment, you know. I feel like NCK is trying to get me right now. He's trying to. He's trying to get you. He's trying to get you cheese. He is. Right? He is. He is. He's trying to get me cheese. Speaking about getting yeah, Brittany let's talk cheese. about this. Let's talk about this, bro. I mean, I, I have gotten cheese. Listen, a lot. if anybody, if you guys watching, if you guys have siblings, you have a brother or a sister, you guys know, and you guys probably fight. I'm a single child, so I never went through that. But uh, witnessing these people together, brothers. these brothers together, they kind of got into a little uh, fight in the uh, hotel. On I, the I wouldn't even consider it a fight. I don't know what I was doing, honestly. Bro, pop up the clip. I have a video. I'm going to pop it up right here. <laughs> Ricky, like a rhino. Ricky looks like a rhino attacking Nick, like pushing yeah. all his weight into Nick. What were you Dude, doing? Nick, Nick, Nick is a professional Bro, boxer. No. One and oh. He could have gave him the one two real quick. He could have. I don't know what Ricky did. He did it like three times too. Yeah, I charged up a couple times. <laughs> but why were you so cheesed? I mean, I honestly forget. I forget what we were talking you just, about. You just kept saying, "Oh, Nick, you want you want want me to learn and give you this lesson? You're trying <laughs> to I'll teach you this lesson now." Wait, no, Nick. no, no. There's something we were talking about because it had to lead to something. Slow down. Slow down. What? Why were you so? I don't even know what you're doing, bro. You're the whole. All right. So, uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Let me take it back to where this whole incident happened. Before it started, before we got in the hotel room. Okay. Yeah, yeah. you know, it definitely <laughs> unpacking did. Unpacking the car. Did. Yep. We we check into the hotel. Me, Ricky, everyone. We're unpacking the car, bringing in whatever we need to bring into the hotel. Yep. And then while I am unpacking, out of nowhere. Nowhere. There was no reason. Completely <laughs> uncalled for. Absolutely no reason at all. Let me make that clear. Oh, I remember. <laughs> there was no reason at all. Ricky comes up to me and, and does this. And does this. BG, I'm sorry, but you're, here, you're closer. So This is what Ricky does. Hey! Ow, bro. What the? No, that's exactly what happened. Ricky comes up to I me. I did. I did that. And punches me <laughs> in the side. And I look at him and I'm like, I'm like bro. What was that for? I don't know what it was for. And, and I knew from that, from then on, there was going to be beef. I don't I even it. know why I did that. I don't even know why. No, no. But when I asked you, why did you hit me? I want to know this answer because I forgot. What, you First you hit me and then I like, I did this like I was going to hit you back. And well, you, you ran. Mm -hmm. You ran. I ran. Yeah, you ran. Hit him in the hand and he ran. Because you are what you eat, a chicken. Go ahead. Oh, you were scared. Like a man. I right. ran. Okay, we get the point. But then I hit Ricky. Play the clip of a Hutter RTV. But you aim so bad that you hit him in the hand and you ran. So I, so Ricky hits me and then I, I do this and then he runs away and then he comes back and I'm like, bro, what was that for? Why did you just hit me out of nowhere? There was no reason for it. And this is what Ricky says. I feel like you're about to hit me right now. This is what you say. Ricky says this. Bro, I, I was just trying to teach you a lesson, bro. <laughs> I was trying to teach you a oh, lesson. Oh, I remember. Yes, I was. I was. I was. I remember. Because in the car, I feel like at the beginning of this trip. But you never told me what the lesson was to but this day. But sometimes a lesson must be learned, not told. Mm. Now, the, let me explain that. I'll, I'll tell it now. But sometimes you have to learn before you're told. It's better to learn from it. So this is what I was saying. At the beginning of the trip. I was about to teach you a lesson. Trust me. Right there. How you, you about to get this lesson right here. I know. Or this one. You could have got two and in instead, one day. And instead, you told me the lesson before. It's just like life. Have you ever heard this quote? It's like, in, uh, for tests, when you go to school, you're given the material to study, and then you take the test. Oh, no, no, no. This is it. In school, you're taught the lesson, then you take the test. In life, you're given the test. Then you learn the lesson. Oh, that's, oh! that's, oh! that's, yep, yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a fire quote. That's that took fire. me a minute to think, but yeah, bro. So at the beginning of this trip, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to say it right now. I don't know why. I, I just had a lot of built up cheese. So a lot of like just, I was just like very tense a lot of the time. Maybe it's a combination of living in LA. Maybe it's a combination of my own mental stuff. Maybe it's a lot of me putting my pressure on myself or whatever it is. And I had a lot of cheese. And when we were out here, the first trip in Texas, I was, like, getting cheesed at, like, a lot of stuff. But not, like, I'm not talking, like, I get pissed and go, ah, 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 like, scream. <laughs> but it's more like, you know, I just, like, let little things be, like, like the way you piss me off a little bit. Like pissy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 no, for sure. You're in a little pissy mood. And then you and BG 
yep. would like try to teach me lessons. And BG said it though. He was like, I'm trying to teach you a lesson. And that would piss me off more. I'd be like, bro, what do you mean teaching me lesson? And I'd get cheesed. It was like half joking, no? But it, but I think you were half joking, but I think BG was really trying to teach me a life lesson. Like, I'm not yeah. even kidding. I've Man, had talks he, with him. The only reason is because I could see like this anger in you, but that's, I have that too. Like built up anger. So like, like, sometimes but, it but gets we're released. So chill, like but, a lot of the time. Yeah, but but, then, but I could see it in you. Like I could see myself in you, and yeah. I was like, "Oh, this man." Because I, I think you guys were half joking, but I took. I was that. What I mean by that is when you guys would say stuff, I would take it personally, and I still do. And <laughs> I'm just saying, like I haven't learned fully, but you. But I would be getting cheese at little things. You guys piss me off, and I'd be upset. But now BG has taught me to try to be like, just calm. take it as a joke, kind of more calm. More calm, but I'm still not calm sometimes. It's going to be something that takes time. But what I was trying to teach with you, I think we were cheesed in the car. And I was just like, okay, I'm going to just punch him and see if he can restrain himself. But why would you, why would <laughs> that, what, what Because if you could stay calm with me punching you, you can stay calm in any situation. Your brother is the most annoying person in the world. There's a difference though. When me and BG were like, like, what's it called? When you, you press your buttons, we were pressing your buttons. We weren't physically pressing your buttons. You physically pressed my button. Yep. You laid a hand on me. Yep. That's not teaching me a lesson. Well, that thing, imagine I'm, if you're able to stay calm in that moment. I'm not going to stand calm because if someone touches me, I'm letting them fly. Yeah, yes, bro. if there's a threatening situation. But it's come on. Fight or I'm, flight. Fight I or agree. flight for Nick. I agree. If it's a threatening situation. But am I a threat to you? You're a professional boxer. If you lay a hand on me, you're a threat. Okay, then yeah. 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 Okay, I guess. And, and and play that video one more time when we this is after we made it up to the hotel room after Ricky punched me. There's some stuff that happened off it, camera. It seems like you're a little cheesed right now. No, listen, listen. So play that clip and um let me ask the fans. I actually want to know comment down below who does it look like is cheesed in that situation? Bro. And who does it look like is the aggressor in there? Mm-hmm. It's it's very clear. Oh, I was very cheesed. Crystal clear actually. You were che- you- I was cheesed. I had to play the role of someone that was actually cheesed. Because if I'm not actually cheese, then you know, oh, I'm just joking around. No, bro, that's where I draw I'm the line. I'm a method actor. I, that's where I draw the line, though, because if you try to do some stupid stuff like that and you're, like, getting, like, physical with it, it's uh, it's not just teaching And look at you, lesson. you learned. You stayed calm in the midst of a rhino. A rhinoceros yeah. was coming for you. Did, you did stay calm, Nick. You no. stayed very yeah. calm. I hope, I hope you learned, because if that happens again, I'm not. Ooh. Well, maybe I need to learn the lesson. You should have taught me. Uh, dude. I'm if it happens again, teach me. I'm being for real. And we'll play bro. the clip of you punching me in the face. Yeah, I'll play the cl- photo <laughs> no, of no, you no. laying on the floor. No, for real. But no, if it happens again, teach me. <laughs> I will. Teach me, and I'm then I'll learn the lesson. Instead, you're trying to learn. give me the lesson. It was almost a lesson for myself, if you think about it. I don't know. But man. I didn't get taught. because. Were you ready to get punched? Did you think Nick I was, would, would I was you? literally this close from, like, I, you can probably see my arm. It's, like, cocked back. Like, ready to, like, unload. Wait, wait. So, chin. in the situation that Nick would have hit you with a one-two, maybe just a one in the face, just th- would you have been pissed, Rix? Who What'd knows? You do? I, don't, I couldn't tell you. Would you just go super rhino mode? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I couldn't tell you because I feel like a lot of people would say what they do in a situation, but when it comes up, who knows what you actually do. Yeah. So, people, like, you know. All right. Yeah. Knows. Let's change the subject, though, because, like, I feel like we're, we're, we're on, like, we're good now. You know? We, we, that was, we had a little I've bit of good. beef, a little bit of tension. But then we let it go, and now, now we're chilling, right? Mm-hmm. I'm just saying don't do it again. Oh, I'm not. I think you learned. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I was the – I think I was the teacher in that one. Oh, then I learned. Thank you. You're welcome. Appreciate you, bro. <laughs> All right, boys. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on, boys. Come on. Come on. Oh, bringing it back to what I was saying, because I don't, I don't want to talk about the cheese stuff, because, like, if we talk about it too much – we're actually going to get cheesed yeah. at each other. Well, I can remain calm and talk about it, but maybe it gets to you. <laughs> you be making <laughs> stupid jokes like that. <laughs> and it's like he's, like he's, he's trying to antagonize it. Shouldn't let it get to you if you can. I'm not letting calm. it get to me, but this oh, okay, might get okay, to you. Okay, okay. But yes, that's Reach what I was out because I don't think you could hit me, even if you did right now. Uh, okay, yeah, 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 All right, let's move up. on. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah. Why? You shouldn't let it get to you. No, I don't care. I don't. I could talk about it for you. All right, yo, bring it back. <laughs> bring it back to what I was saying. Um, how I was saying how the people flagged on me hella when we were in Arizona, right? Basil, bring it, bring it way <laughs> back. back. And bring it way back. But I, I forgot to make this point that I wanted to make about it. So the people would flag on me, and then a lot of times I would just end up like on my plans to go to like this cool place, and I'm like, you know, I, I still want to go to that cool place. It would have been cooler if I went 
with, with someone else. With that said someone mm-hmm. that flagged. Yep. But then, but I'm like, I still want to go to that place. Y'all were all doing your own thing. So I was like, you know, I'm just going to go alone. Well, I don't think we were doing our own thing. I think you just wanted to go with a little shoddy. But when they ended up flagging, I was like, I, I ended up going alone. Yeah. My, my, by myself to mm-hmm. some of these places that I like wanted to go with someone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there, there's, I feel like there's like a weird stigma on going and doing stuff by yourself. Mm. Yeah. yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Just like yeah, when you even, got dinner by yourself. But yeah. In Sedona. Yeah. That was but a great dope. time though. When I went, I, okay. So I like, I'd go to these places by myself, but when I go with myself, it's like, I, I don't have to worry about anyone. I don't have to like tend to them or whatever. Or, like talk. Like, yeah. To, and I'm there's just, no chance of getting cheesed at yourself. You know, how are you going to cheese yourself? I'm just out there vibing. And you learn a lot about yourself when you spend time with yourself. Like how many times, how often do you spend time with yourself? No, like just yourself, no music, no, no watching YouTube, no watching the best podcast oh, yeah. in the game. It is what it is. Mm-hmm. None of that. You're just like, I don't think a lot of people do. You're like talking to yourself in your head and like, how, how are, how, how am I? How, what am I, what am I doing? Am yeah. I enjoying what I'm doing right now? We're always distracting ourselves. Like we're always like, we need to be stimulated. So then you don't really know like who you are. But if you actually take a little bit of time, you feel weird at the beginning. I would say most people do, but then yeah. you kind of are like. Oh, this is what I really like. And then you feel comfortable. You feel uncomfortable first and then comfortable and later. A lot of it, I feel like, is people, they're afraid They're afraid to go out and do something by themselves. I feel like, I feel like they would enjoy going by themselves yeah. and doing whatever it is. Like, going and seeing that view. It was still dope, even though I wasn't with anyone. The view was still crazy. But then... Or watching a movie or anything. Or watching a movie or anything. Going to the movies. Or like going to dinner. I went to dinner by myself the other day in Arizona. Yeah. Well, mainly because they... Uh, they, you guys didn't want to come with me. Yeah. Rick, Ricky and I just wanted to eat Chipotle for the third day, time in a row for Dude. that one day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I was like, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling. I was, in, yeah. I want to get a little nice dinner, and I want to. What'd you get, bro? It looked gas. You got, you got a, a dinner and you got a dessert alone. Yeah, normally I don't get dessert at dinner. And then you met. You said you were talking about the waiter. He was oh, a yeah. dope guy. Like. The waiter was You had a conversation guy. with him, and he, maybe you didn't have that conversation if there's a bunch of other people around, you know? Yeah, but he was, he was a dope guy, and he was super friendly, super nice, and he kind of made my day. He was yeah. just it positive vibes, yeah. uplifted me, and I was like, wow, bro, you're a dope guy, and left him a little tip. He probably would have gone with you on the mountain trip. <laughs> <laughs> it's like different going with like a girl, though, you know? No, I'm kidding. Yeah, I'm joking. You know? But no, but yeah, doing stuff by yourself, bro. I feel like we've all done... Stuff by herself the most on this trip, at least for me. I feel like I didn't do a lot of stuff by myself before, but sometimes would one of us would just take the car and even going to get groceries by herself, it's like just feeling nice sometimes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sometimes it's like a little freeing or relaxing to go. Like, I'll just take the car. I ain't even going anywhere. I'm just getting in the car and just start driving. I don't even know where I'm going, but I'm just vibing. I, yeah. It's a good time sometimes. Yeah, I would say most people are either like on their phone with their friends, if they're in a relationship. I know people that have been in relationships since they were in middle school, and the, they've never been out of a relationship. So it's like, not that that's bad, but it's like, I think you, you don't even know who you are, too. Yeah, you, you don't know who you are, but when you go and you do stuff by yourself, you figure out, there's no one telling you, giving outside input, what you should like, what you should get. It's only you and your thoughts. And then you re- that's when you really figure out who you are, I feel like. Yeah. yeah, you're not influenced by And sometimes anyone. a lot of people in relationships nowadays, or not not a lot of times, but a lot of times, um, like when when uh, COVID happened, people, they would be quarantined and they'd be quarantined with their partner or whatever. Yeah. Mm. And then they'd be, with, they'd be with them too much. Yep. I hear a lot of those stories yep. and it was kind of like a make it or break it moment because mm-hmm. once you spend that much time with someone, you really you re- you realize who they really are. Like all you guys, <laughs> we're spending a lot of time together. Pretty much- Every second of every day yeah, almost. And together. you're realizing that you don't really like me. Probably. Yeah, at the start, we were all like, hey, everyone's dope. And now it's like, my gosh, yeah. as soon as the podcast ends, I'm going to my room and saying, peace out. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm, playing. I'm not playing about that. No, I'm kidding. Well, I'm you're playing. realizing a lot about Ricky even more, probably. <laughs> <We've>, yeah. <'cause laughs> okay, the beef is squashed between me and Ricky. We're chilling, right? Truce? Well, Can we get a little truce? Oh. Yes, kiss. Just, kiss. We're going to trick, we're going to prank kiss. the Spotify viewers. Kiss. So they have to go to YouTube. 
Here we go. On YouTube, you know, you know what's really happening. Oh. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Bro, that was sus. Is that how you kiss? Dude, we're pranksters. That That's how you sus. kiss? No, we're... Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we're pranksters. You got to prank them, you know? Yo, that was way too sus. But... Bro, I love you, bro. I know, I love you too, but like not like that way. Not but, like that way. I was. But, it's a prank, booze. Speaking... <laughs> Chill out, booze. Stop talking. Speaking of oh, sus... Geez. Speaking of sus, I have to bring this up because we got to LA, hmm. what, two days ago? We've been in LA for two days. No, you're not. Costco story? Yeah. Oh, oh my, no. this is the craziest this is the, story. Oh my, we have to tell this. The craziest story. We have to tell you guys. You want me to start and then you, we both add in? Yeah, I don't know how we didn't tell this already. Oh like, my, this, this was, is wild. Like, I feel like LA is known for having like a weird crowd. Like a, like a weird, like the people that live in LA, they're a little bit... Odd and strange sometimes. Nothing wrong with that, but sometimes it can be a little bit much. And I'm telling you, out of nowhere, out of nowhere. Oh, this is our f yeah. We're we're uh, what like a we, couple hours into Costco. We just got to LA. I'm so, talking. This is the day we got to LA. Yeah. So we walk into Costco. I think Snow and Brandon were off on one corner, and then Nick and I were walking this way. And there's this guy, and he's and he's like waving towards me and Nick. And we're like far away. I was like looking around, like what, what? And what? you know, you know how Costco is. They be giving out the free samples, and I'm like, maybe he's trying to give us a free sample. But like out of us, like we are far. And then we're walking up. We're walking up to him, and he's like, "What did he say?" He said, "Are you guys the hot Asian brothers?" And we were like, I didn't even know what he said at first. I I, I thought he said like Thai or something. I thought he said, "Are you guys the Thai Asian brothers?" And, and we were like, um, "We're but, brothers." Yes. It was just so weird. It like, was just you and Nick at it that was just, point. At this point, we were we were just a little bit behind you, so and I. Yeah, but it, but they they joined the story later. They joined the story later, and that's when it gets he even said, more interesting. And then I'm like, "What? Wait, what did he say?" And but, then he says it again. Are you guys the hot Asian brothers? But the, but the second time he says it, he's like rubbing up on me. <laughs> Hella like close. He, and Nick. Hella touchy. But he was like, Nick like Nick made a smart move. He like went on the outskirts. So then he was like literally on me. I was like, bro, there's still he was like, doing he was doing this. Like imagine I'm the guy and then you're you're Ricky. He's he's doing this. He's like, Oh my goodness, are you guys the hot Asian it was like, brothers? It was I, was a, I was watching it, I was like, Bro, I can't I couldn't even I was, I didn't think it was real life. And then we were like, Yeah, okay, whatever, we're gonna go. And I don't we weren't even I was just like, this is weird. But then he goes he goes, oh my, what do you do? Uh, what do you do? And then I was like, oh, we make YouTube videos. But we didn't have our camera. And then he was like, oh, really? You guys are directors? Oh my gosh. Dude, he did oh. not talk like yes, that. Yes, he did, yes, bro. bro he Before like you that. got there, he talked like that. And it was but then when I got there, he didn't. But go ahead. Yeah, because he got nervous around you, bro. <laughs> yeah, we all know why. We're getting to <laughs> it, though. We're getting to that, bro. It's fudging weird, boys. Yes, I say fudging, boys. <laughs> Gotta say it. It's like a brownie. All right, so then he's like rubbing up on, and he's like, yeah, yeah. And we're like, yeah, we're, yeah, we're okay, yeah. And then I was like, how do I get out of this? So I see Brandon and Snow like a couple <laughs> hours down, and I was like, oh, yeah, me and Nick, we kind of just, uh, we're just, we don't really do it. They are the ones that do oh, it. Oh, you said that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. why you was so like, hyped to me. I was like, they're the main guys. They're the main guys And he, the video. He's like saying like, oh, my, where's your Instagram? When he was, like, he was asking for the Instagram, and I was like, oh, bro. I was like, oh, we, I don't really post ever. It's them. They do it. So then Snow and Brandon walk up and take it away, BG. Take it away. <laughs> he walks up. Then, oh, so this is my first time ever meeting the guy. And then he's like. It was all of our yeah, first time. So, so, so Ricky, Ricky and them are here. So Snow and I are coming up like this. So it's like this. And then I can already tell, like, I, for some reason, I thought he was a fan of them because fans come up all the time. So I was like, oh, this guy looks like he's pretty lit. Like, I'll talk to him. And he's and, all smiling. Yeah, from he's far, like, right? he's yeah. like, he yeah. came up to me and he said, he said, are you guys really doing an overnight challenge, a 24 hour challenge in Costco? And I was like, oh, I gotta like, like hype it up and be like, yeah. So I'm like, yes, bro, yes. And I, I dabbed <laughs> him up like this. I dabbed him oh, like this. Oh, and you touched I like, him. I was like this. I was like, yes, bro, yes. And I went like no. this. Oh, <laughs> not no, knowing, that's when it not, changed. Not knowing he was about that action. So I made the first, <laughs> the first touch. And then, and then he went up back to me. He's like, and he was he's like, like, he's like, oh no, are you guys actually doing the 24 hour challenge? Wait, guys, guys, just imagine he was touching Nick and I this much. Without us giving permission. Imagine, BG personally gave him touch. <laughs> so then we go in. We Wait, were like, hold up, hold up. I have to pause the story. Because uh, Ricky said that we were spending the night to him before you came up. I didn't realize. I was just joking around. Oh, I didn't yeah, know that. Ricky was just joking around. I didn't realize that you thought he was a fan. 
Because that, that makes a lot more sense of, like, why you would be, like, hype and, like, and touching yeah, him yeah. and talk to well, him Well, like usually that. the other... the are like, dapping him. The like, fans yeah. that come up to you are, like, younger, so I'm not going to just be, like, touching, like, younger fans. It's just kind of weird to me. But somebody, like, older than me or my age, I'm, I don't know if that makes sense. You're going to, like, you know? dap him up just, like, and, like, more chill. Yeah, 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 Like, yo, yeah, bro, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah it's going to be yeah, lit. Yeah, like, and he's like, no way, no way. It was more like... No way, no way. And then I was like, oh, right, this guy's cool. It so was more like this. No way, no way. <laughs> and then and then we're by the we're by the freezer. We're by the uh, vegetables in Costco where you go in. So we go in and then and then we, we kind of we part ways a little bit you, from the yeah, guy. Yeah, so right? we're got, and Ricky and Nick were like, bro, bro, <laughs> you don't know what happened. I'm like, bro, I was like, no. I was like, what, bro? That's just like that's just like a, a chill guy, right? He's lit and he's like, they're like, no, bro, no. <laughs> I was like, yo, what just happened? <laughs> but was I that saw interaction him. real? And then and then we're all we're we're all in a we're in a different section of the store than his jurisdiction. But like, I saw him peeking into our section. He was like this. <laughs> yeah, I, we all know why now. Yeah. But while we were in the section, we we're we're all kind of like huddled up together and we're like looking at each other. We're like, bro, what just happened? Why was he why was he? He was acting hella sus, bro. And then, well, I mean, that's what he does. Yeah. No, that's, that's what, what he likes. I know, you know that's what he does. But it was like no one invited him. I can't to, blame a brother. I'm being for real though. Like it was like uninvited susness. It was very quick too. He's about that action. So yeah, yeah, let's yeah, continue yeah, the yeah, story. Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah, like, yeah. like so we we're all in this this secluded section. His dur- jurisdiction is over here. We're over here, and then our boy Snow behind the camera. Decides to leave where we were. And, and he was like, let me get on this action. <laughs> no, no, that didn't happen. I'm chill, playing. chill, chill. But Snow ventures playing, back sorry. into the jurisdiction of that guy. And apparently that guy, can I say his name? No. No, don't say his all name. All right, all right. Can we, we'll call him Paul. Okay. So Paul. Definitely wasn't his name. I know. But Paul comes Cute. up to Snow and uh, Paul says, yo, I got to tell those other guys a joke. And, uh, and then Snow decides to come back to where the rest of us are. And he, he's, he says, yo, boys. Um, he, he Paul's looked, got a joke. Paul's got a joke for y'all. And then we're all looking at each other. We're like, <laughs> what could this joke be? Snow is hyped. Snow is hyped. He's like, yo, you got to hear this. <laughs> you got to hear this. And then the next person that was me, I think I heard it, right? Was it me next after Snow? Yeah, you, you, you walk Cause, out cause of the refrigerator. Because me, no, right? not him. Like, I didn't really know the... You, you guys will know at the end. I was like, yo, what's the joke? What's the joke, bro? I want to hear it. And I probably went like this again. Yo, what's the joke, bro? What's the joke? <laughs> <laughs> you, hold up, hold up, hold up. Did you still think he was a fan at that point? Yeah, I was like, oh, they probably know oh, Ricky and Nick. Bro. So I was like, so I was just like lit with this guy. This guy has good energy. I was like, yeah, this guy's lit. I was like, what's a joke? What's a joke? And he told me the joke. And I said, yo, Ricky or Nick. I forgot who I told. I was like, yo, hear this joke. Yo, tell them, tell them. And then one of you guys heard the joke. And then me and Ricky, we, we go up to the guy and then he tells us the joke. And this joke was completely uncalled for, completely random, completely out of the blue. Can I say the joke? Yeah, yeah, I guess. I mean, you can't hype it all up and not say it. Yeah, but, I had to but say it's it. a little. It's a little sus. It's hella sus. I mean, that's this whole story is sus. That's this. It's a sus story. That's the title of it. S- story of sus stories. Yeah. So me and Ricky, we walk up to the guy and we're like, "Yo, what's the joke?" We're a little bit skeptical, a little bit eerie because um, the whole situation was just a little bit odd, yeah, and strange, yes, yes. out of the blue. So we're like, "Yo, what's the joke?" And this man, out of nowhere, out of nowhere, he pulls out, he pulls out a, a cantaloupe with a hole in it. It's like a <laughs> carved out already. A carved out Just cantaloupe. like Halloween, bro. Just, Just like, like Halloween. Halloween. Like, he like treated, a jack-o'-lantern. It was a jack-o'-lantern, but a cantaloupe. And he's holding the cantaloupe like this? Like he pulled it out of his cheeks. I don't know where he got it. I don't know where he got it. But he's holding the cantaloupe. And um, mm-hmm. this dude says... While you guys are filming your overnight challenge, you guys should do a bit where you guys do coming in the cantaloupe. And I'm like, bro, bro, what? 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 They're completely uncalled for, out of nowhere, bro. And then, then when we heard that, we... we dipped. I was like, bro, I don't care. And he care. said some more stuff. I was like, bro, I don't care if the groceries I need are in his jurisdiction. I am, I'm just not going to get those groceries today. I'm going to the other side of the store, and whatever I need, I'll pick it up. Not at Costco. I'll, I'll pick it up at, like, a Walmart or some other store because I am not spending another second in that section. It was just 
That was our first day in LA. So I mean, that's just like a little taste of what we're going to get. Just, yeah. Just a little taste. Let me get a taste. Let me taste. Taste. No, but for real though, that's what I was like, come on, that was our first day in LA. You can only expect for it to get weirder from here. Oh, it will, for sure. Yeah. But get let's, ready, just say, let's just get say ready. I'm not going back to Costco. Have you, who am I going with you with the mountain? <laughs> All right, bro. All right, bro. But I'd but, rather go to the mountain. But listen, alone. listen. We're not um we're not like trying to like make fun of anybody no, or I'm, say like no 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 like, no, 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 no do it do whatever you want yeah. like I'm just like I'm just make sure that's known it's not like we're like oh yeah like, not a tag you know, not like you know? that but like don't try to press it on like it was uninvited even if a girl was like that I'd yeah but like, I don't know though dang. because like it's just like the way we, when we're out in public like I feel like we're very acceptable. So like people are comfortable with us. Yeah, it's like yeah, they yeah, see Ricky. Right. Imagine how Ricky dresses. Like it could be, you could think that, you know, or how I dress. I have ripped jeans on, super tight. But like we're just super acceptable to society. It's not like we're we're. I don't know. You I like feel like shut someone. Oh, yeah, 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 we, yeah, we would yeah, never yeah, like yeah, shut yeah, somebody yeah. off. You know. So oh no, like, no, no! It's dope because like shout out to him. If he didn't tell that story, we wouldn't have a. St- if he didn't do that, we wouldn't have a story to tell right now. Oh, it was an interesting story, but it's yeah, yeah. I'm not trying to like hate on anyone who's like that or anything because I think. You know, I'm, That's what I'm makes happy. Life interesting, yeah. I'm happy for everyone to be however they are. I think everyone should just be themselves. Thank you. Uh, oh, chill, chill, chill. Mm. Not you, not you. My bad. I'm playing, I'm playing. <laughs> but like, it was just, it was so out of the blue and random and weird because none of us are like that. So it was, we, I just had to tell the story. Yeah. And some other stuff happened in the little story. I don't know. He wanted I BG. Think. Can we just say it? He wanted BG. He yeah, wanted to solo him out of the group. And he tried to, he said, after my it, shift. He was like, you, wow, mutual touch. Together, he already thought he confirmed. He probably thought he confirmed it. Yeah. He was like, "Dang, he touched me." But then, you know, BG he flagged on him and never yeah. came back. I don't think he went back to that side no. of the story. I mean, we might go back to Costco, so could be. Wish us luck. We'll get we a ne- hey next time if we go back to Costco, we'll get a clip of him saying it is what it is. And oh, I don't know. I don't huh? know, bro. If he wants to be on it, but yeah. like, but we then gotta, it's like, like, dang, we just hold gross. that. We gotta like blur his face and stuff, and like unless he likes yeah, it, maybe, maybe he's no, like, maybe, yeah. Maybe, I'm not gonna lie. After that happened, I almost told a manager, but I was like, ah, I don't, I don't want to get dude fired. But I was like, what? Oh, Karen, bro. boo! If, if he did that, I'm not. No, not a Karen. But I'm like, bro, th- he he had a coworker that looked kind of similar to us, and I kind of felt bad for him, bro, because it was like, if he's like being like hella like like that to us, sometimes you just gotta say no. <laughs> no, for real though. No, for real. Yeah, yeah, for real. And I guess maybe we didn't say no. We were too well, bad. I was just like, ah, okay, we'll see how this goes. It was it was interesting, though. But, um, yeah. I mean, we're definitely going to go back there eventually. Maybe he Restock. won't. Hopefully he won't be working that day. But, I mean, who knows? Maybe we'll see him and he'll be a pal. You think we'll be? I don't think we're going to be pals, okay. if I'm going to be honest. But, um, how long have we been rolling for? Oh. I think that is the only way to end this with that story. We're out here in LA. We're going to plan on getting a bunch of guests on while we're here because there's a bunch of, there's a high concentration of people that we would like to be guests Mm. in LA. So that's our plans for while we're here. And um, thank you guys for tuning in, watching. Like, subscribe if you haven't already. Check us out on Spotify. Give us a five-star rating. And um, it is what it is. Shout out to Paul.